Hey, so been, I've been working on getting Python and VS Code to work and connect up to Unreal Engine today. Uh, so I thought I'd share what I've done. It's taken me a few hours to set everything up and you're gonna learn how to do it in five, five, 10 minutes. <laughs> so um, I've got this file here, test.py on the desktop. And if I import Unreal, and then do an unreal log something from VS Code and press Control Enter. I can get Python to output something in Unreal. Pretty cool. Um, so to get this up and running, it's pretty straightforward. Once you know how, um, go over to plugins, go over to Python. And make sure Python editor script plugin is enabled. There's another uh, there's another plugin somewhere that's used for editor scripting. Um, I forget what it is, but I'll put it in the description. Then if you go over to project settings, make sure you've got remote code ex execution. Remote code. Remote. Uh, enable Python. Enable remote execution. Python. Enable so that. Tick boxes, enable remote execution, make sure that's ticked. That allows VS Code to communicate to Unreal Engine. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you have to do on the Unreal side. Um, restart the engine, obviously. Then if you go over to extensions in VS Code, there is a very, very cool extension, uh, which has been created by Nils Soderman. Um, sorry if I've got that, I'm not pronouncing that name correctly. Um, install that. And if you have a look at the um, config page, it talks you through what you need to do. So first, the first thing that it mentions, I mean, obviously read through the whole thing, is that you can use a command, which the commands are run by doing control, shift and P, and then you paste in the command. Or you can, in this case, you can use the keyboard shortcut control plus enter. There's obviously a hook for that in the extension. What I've already done is I've run these commands here. So I've set up um, code completion. Uh, I actually did this the manual way as well. So if you have any problems with this, let me know. Because um, I had to go in and connect up the stubs uh, to, to the Python library. Um, manually, because uh, I couldn't remember the command for this. So, but this should work. I'm sure. I'm sure it will. Um, so you do Control Shift P, and paste in, you know, the the, the auto complete command, and you should get auto completion. So for things like you know, Unreal dot editor something editor, there you go. Code completion. How oh, freaking awesome is that? Python. Um, next thing to do is uh, debugging. So if I do there here, I get I don't I don't, I get nothing. I get no nothing returning telling me that there's a problem with this garbage that I'm putting out on the screen here. Um, so in order to get code completion working, I have to attach uh, using this command. So if I do control shift P, paste it in, click the command. You can see over here, we've got the port number being recognized correctly, which obviously that needs to be correct. That's in your settings, project settings, or editor settings, I forget. Um, and it's also in here as well, in the cog in here. You can modify it if you need to. Um, but by default, this should work. I've just got a default installation. So now, if I output some garbage, control, hit, control, enter. Ooh, line six. There's your problem. Freaking awesome. How cool is that? Um, so, I mean, I'm. Just, this is day one for me. So I'm still l uh, learning how to access classes and um, manipulate the functions. So. I'm still a bit of a noob, but I'll show you some things that you can do. So, here we go. Um, 
So I think this is one of the, yeah, this is one of the examples, I think, in the config page, or where I got it from the video from, from the Unreal Engine official, or like, I can't remember where I got it from. Um, but if you do define get selected assets and utility base, hang on, let me expand this out a bit, unreal.global editor utility base dot get default object, and then return utility base dot get selected assets. Then when you call get selected assets um, into a selected into another variable, <clears throat> and then log that variable, it'll tell you what you've selected in the content browser. So this doesn't work in the viewport. You have to go to the content browser. If I grab a blueprint, it works with blueprints and it works with assets as well. So I've selected this BP underscore test, which is a fire extinguisher and get selected assets will tell me that's what I've selected. So if I clear the log, hit control enter, I've selected a blueprint. Here's the path. And then once you've got it selected, you can do other things with it. You can, you can manipulate the class as well. And you can do other things with it. Um, you can also obviously do your standard Python stuff. I just get that out of the way. So if I do just pop that at the bottom, let's say finished when we've run, finished running our scripts. So we've got a fruits array. If I press control N there, boom. They load in here. Pretty cool. Okay. And one more example. Uh, control forward slash to comment things out. Another one, which is pretty always pretty cool to do, is loading an asset into the viewport. So we've got asset path. And then the path is to game BB test, which is in my case, content is, um, uh, is the game folder, if you like. And then inside of the content folder is BP underscore test. Okay. So it's not the name of your project. Hope that makes sense. So game BP underscore test, that's the asset path. And that's the thing I want to load in to this vector over here. So BP, BP underscore class equals unreal to editor asset library, load in the blueprint class, this part, this class, which is this one here, and then spawned actor, unreal dot actor equals unreal editor, um, level library dot spawn actor from class. And then you feed it the class that you want and the vector that you're going to place it at like the vector where you're going to place it. So if I hit control enter, Boom. How cool is that? Got ourselves a fire extinguisher wherever we, wherever we want. Um, pretty awesome. Oh, it's one centimeter, not one meter. Of course. Uh, let's try again. There we go. And then you could obviously for loop and load it in multiple times. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I've missed anything, I'll stick it in the description and pop links to, to everything, uh, all the useful resources I found so far. And I hope someone found it useful. Cheers.